And now we take our commencement higher. Who will be leading us as we imagine, believe, and achieve for the Toastmasters year 2016-2017? Of course, our incoming board. It is with great pleasure this evening we have among us a Toastmaster whose enthusiasm and dedication has been recognized locally as well as internationally. He is a dual member of University of Curacao Toastmasters Club and Dragonflies Toastmasters Club. For this Toastmaster year, he has become the Division Director, District A. Today we have the pleasure to have him as our installation officer. Please, put your hands together and help me welcome Advanced Communicator Gold, Advanced Leader Bronze, Hepa Plantain to the lecture. Advanced Leader Bros, Leticia Walker. 
Sergeant at Arms, Toastmaster Pierre Bureau. The duties of the Sergeant at Arms are to make sure that all supplies and materials are properly distributed or displayed at meetings with guests and members and call the meeting to order at the scheduled time. I give you this gavel as a symbol of this charge. Will you perform these duties to the best of your ability? As the Vice President membership, your duties are to 
conduct ongoing membership building programs, explain the educational program to prospective members, and ask them to join, and follow up on new members and absent members when you perform these duties to the best of your ability. Advanced Communicating the Bronx, Advanced Leader of Bronx, Leticia Vanga. The duties of the Vice President of Education are to plan successful meetings, to help members achieve their educational goals, orient new members to the Toastmasters program as soon as they join, and monitor members' progress. Will you perform these duties to the best of your ability? Competent Toastmaster, competent leader, Violet Martina. Having been elected the president of the Achievers Toastmasters Club, you are its chief executive officer. I will be expected to preside at all club meetings and at all regular and special meetings of the executive committee. It's your challenge to see that this club enables its members to achieve their educational goals. It is also your challenge to see that your club helps carry for Division 8, District 81, and Toastmasters International to meet their goals. Please accept the gavel as a symbol of your leadership and dedication to the cause. The gavel is a symbol of power and authority given to you by the membership of this club. Use it wisely and use it with restraint. You're a member of your team and also a leader. A team is more than a collection of people. It's an emotional force rooted in the feelings, thoughts, and actions of all members with the common goal of achievement, sharing, and mutual support. Work with your team members to create a healthy, dynamic club of which everyone will be proud. Will you, as president, accept this challenge and perform the duties to the best of your abilities? I would like to ask Immediate past president, distinguished those master, great school of my own hand, to pin the new elected president. Let us give them an applause. Will every club member of the Achievement Stores Masters Club please rise? The growth and development of the Achievement Stores Masters Club 
depends largely on the actions of this group. On your honor as men and women of the Toastmasters International, will you pledge to individually and collectively stand by this club, live with it, and work with it throughout this coming year? Yes, yes. yes. with the proclamation of Postmasters International. Could you please read the script on it? Proclamation Postmasters The Lieutenant Governor of the Island of Curacao, considering it is necessary that the community of Curacao has good communication and leadership skills, Toastmasters, through ongoing training, teaches its members effective communication and leadership skills, and that because of this, the community can develop positively. Toastmasters also focuses especially on promoting communication and leadership skills among the youth. More and more people have the opportunity to develop themselves on different areas through the programs presented by Toastmasters. It is important to annually put spotlight by special manner on all those masters who contribute in a positive fashion to the development and progress of the community of Curacao. And on October 22nd of 1924, Dr. Ralph Smedley started the first Toastmasters Club in Santa Ana, USA. Proclaims. 22nd of October of this year and coming years as Toastmasters Day and encourages all citizens of and organizations in the community of Curacao to give recognition to all Toastmasters for their valuable contribution in promoting effective communication and leadership in the community of Curacao. Curacao, October 22nd of 2008, signed by the governor then, Mrs. Dillian. Would you please pass it to the president? Toastmasters Club that was signed on April 12, 2001, certifying that we have 15 years of Achievers Toastmasters Club. This is the token of the Toastmaster International. 
Martina presented to Play School de Martina, the Tigers Toastmasters Club, for your dedicated service and outstanding leadership as president. 2015-2016. Thank you very much, dear director and those who saw the front officers now. Let us give them an applause. Success is often measured by comparison to others. Excellence is all about being the best we can be and maximizing our gifts, talents, and abilities to perform at our highest potential. So every effort, time, and energy you invest in your club adds up to make the Achievers Toastmasters Club an excellent and distinguished club, which will make a difference in our community and also territory. I wish the Achievers Toastmasters Club a very successful year. I will now turn the control over to the new president, competent Toastmaster, and competent leader, Violet Martina. Toastmasters Club for the Toastmasters year 
2016-2017. Thank you, dear members, for your faith and trust in my capacity to guide and lead the club. Together, a team of seven officers and the immediate past president, we plan to serve you to the best of our abilities. I've been a member for more than 30 years, and with humility, I have accepted now this big challenge to be your 15th president. I acknowledge the great work of all the past presidents and the teams that have led the Tiber's family to be the successful club that they are today. This growing family doesn't start with babies, but with young adults who decide to start a journey to explore and develop their innate capacities. In those masters, we create the learning environment and the opportunity for each and every member to become better persons, better citizens, effective communicators, and the best leaders as it is the vision of those masters in the nation. With the core values of those masters international, such as integrity, respect, service, and excellence, and the principles of the Achievers Toastmasters Club, such as collaboration, commitment, and capacity building in mind, we strive to maintain and improve the standards of our club. As Dre said, for 11 consecutive years, we have gained the President Distinguished Award and last year select this stage. The executive committee, mentors and members in general are the groups responsible for the well-being and growth of the club. We are a big family on the same journey. This is not a solo trip of the leaders. We form one body and every tiny part it's necessary to feel whole. It's only with hard work that we can be successful. Hard work from the executive committee and members. We cannot do anything without the collaboration of the achievers. Together, we move forward. From my point of view, togetherness is more than just unity. It has a more personal quality to it and involves feelings. When I think of togetherness, I picture people interacting with each other. They can see, talk, listen, and touch each other. They can reach out and give a helping hand. Togetherness is another characteristic of a group that strives for excellence. My wish is to have this spirit of togetherness very palpable in the club to feel the heart and the bond that will help us to move forward to close cooperation. Cooperation between board members, cooperation between members amongst one another, and cooperation between mentors. To me, there is no difference between a board member and a regular member. A board member is a man with a specific task. Only that. Your continued support, critics, and encouragement will keep the board motivated and focused on the goals of the club. We pledge to serve you to the best we can, but feel free to tell us how we can better serve you. Be involved, participate, and make things happen. Sometimes, you really need to push. My sister said to me, it's about time to come out of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. 
Here I am. You were Madam President. <laughs> personal development because the same sister told me and now you have to work away that CTM title of yours. <laughs> I'm out of my cocoon and have already presented the first project from an advanced manual. I had a setback in the past but I'm over it now. I was completely compared, prepared and we submitted the request to the Toastmaster International. But because I had the old CTM, <laughs> I have to change my treadmill. Otherwise, I should have been your advanced leader promise. Back the club matters. I'm out of my comfort zone, yes. yes. <laughs> and I want you to help me push and raise the bar back to what it was a couple of years ago. We have to maintain the status of a president distinguished club. Let's support each other and bundle our forces to push, push up together while we move forward. Ladies and gentlemen, what we have here today is togetherness and manifestation of your support. Before I end this speech, I would like to share a quote with you from Henry Ford. If everyone is moving together, then success takes care of itself. Unquote. With this, I would like to wish everyone blessed and successful Toastmasters year. And I hope we will continue to stimulate and encourage each other. I just want to say, thank you Meredith for pushing me out of my comfort zone.